Last week, Cubby Bear was looking for his family. I wonder if he found them. Let's see if he will come out and tell us, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Cubby! Hi, everybody! Hi, Cubby. Why are you so excited today? In a few minutes, I'm going to take a picture of my family. Oh, Cubby, you must have found your family. Where did you find them? Well, it all started this morning. Timothy, Katie, and Lovey came running to meet me under my favorite apple tree. They were in a hurry. Timothy figured out that since I was a bear, my family would be bears too. Bears live in the forest. There are no bear families that live at Apple Acres Farm. Does that mean that you have to live in a forest now, Cubby? That's what I thought at first. I really wanted my family, but I didn't want to leave Apple Acres Farm. Timothy lives there, and so do Katie and Lovey. I'm sure you would really miss them. Yeah, and I'd miss all the apple trees filled with yummy apples. Mmm. So what did you do? Did you decide to leave the farm and go find your family in the forest? Nope, he didn't. Cubby had a better plan. I did. Timothy said that the people and families love each other and take care of one another. That's right, they do. Timothy, Katie, Collie, and Lovey Lamb all love me and help me take care of me. So I asked them if they would be my family. Someday, maybe my bear family will come and find me. But until then, I'll be happy with my Apple Acres Farm family. I'm so happy for you, Cubby. So am I. You are my favorite bear on our farm. <laughs> I'm the only bear on our farm. It looks like the search is over. You have found your family. Yep. And I'm now going to take a picture of my new family. Are you ready to get our picture taken, Katie? Let's go find Timothy and Lovey Lamb. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Cubbies, I'm glad Cubby Bear found a family that loves him. Even though it's not his bear family, there are many different kinds of families. We thank God for making all kinds of families. Let's remember what we learned in club these last few weeks. In Genesis 1, it says, God created all things in six days. Created means to make something out of nothing. God made the light, the sky, the sun, and all the plants and trees. God made the moon and stars to light the night. God made the birds, the fish, the animals, and people. God made light so we could see. God made the sky and the deep blue sea. God made the plants that grow food to eat, the pretty flowers, the tall, tall trees. God made the sun that shines so bright. God made the moon and the stars for night. God made the fish that swim in the sea and the colorful birds that fly in the breeze. God made the animals big and small, animals that hop and animals that crawl. God made all the things I see, and I'm so glad that God made me. Adam and Eve were different from all the other things that God had made. They were made in God's image. They could know, love, and serve God. Cubbies you are all made in God's image too. Let's think of ways 
that we are like God. We use our head to think and learn. Count to five with me. One, two, three, four, five. We can love others, especially the people in our families. Can you pretend to give your mom and dad a hug? Oh, hug yourself tightly. We can choose to serve God by obeying what he tells us in the Bible. Cubbies, what are some ways we can obey God? We can sing praises to God. We can pray, read, memorize the Bible, obey our parents, love your brothers and sisters, and help others. Adam and Eve were God's special creation, and so are you. God made you special, and he knows everything about you. He even made you special people to love and take care of you. God gave you a family. Each person in your family has a special job that God wants him or her to do. God wants moms and dads to love and take care of their children and teach them about God. God has special jobs for you to do in your family too. First, he wants you to love and obey your parents. How is this little boy in this picture choosing to obey his mother? God wants you to obey your parents, and he also wants you to love the other people in your family. How many of you have brothers or sisters? What do you think happened in this picture? Sometimes we get angry at our brothers and sisters and do unkind things. But God wants us to be kind to one another and forgive each other. I'm so glad that our wonderful creator made each of us so that we could love him and love our families. Let's repeat this core truth. God is creator. And we're going to review Revelation 4.11. Worthy are you, Lord and God, for you created all things. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for being our creator. And thank you for loving us so that we can love you and love others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did I do okay in that last part? <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad.
because oh, okay. it was all wet with my tears. Oh no. My eyes are 